Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Leah and I'm your host here as we adventure into learning about fashion and style and just playing dress up and having a grand old time. So happy that you're back here again today. Today we have a more chill video if you couldn't already tell. But a few weeks ago, I posted on Instagram and asked you all to send me suggestions for ideas of scenarios or events that I could style outfits for and you sent in some and today I'm going to be going through a few of those and trying to put together outfits on the spot. So we've got a good range of prompts to go through, uh, hopefully we'll get to at least four or five and without further ado, let's go! So the first prompt I have is from Anna and she says to do something sport related which it's very on brand for Anna. For me though, when I think of like sports, like if I were going to do some kind of sport and event, I would probably just wear like shorts and an old t-shirt and like whatever sneakers I could find, my most comfortable sneakers. But you know, that's not very fashion. So we're going to go for something a little bit different. My next thought after that was when I was back in university and I used to be a part of the dance club, whenever we had rehearsal days, I tried to wear something that would be versatile in terms of being able to wear it to rehearsals and be comfortable and you know dance but also still be able to like put on a couple layers and then go to class without changing too much so usually my staple during my dance days was leggings some kind of like oversized t-shirt and then like a shirt or a cardigan over the top so that's what we're gonna try to put together now so I have two leggings that I could choose from I have these dark grey ones that are just solid and these like striped ones I think I'll go with the striped ones because they just fit a little bit better and they're a little thinner so they won't make you as sweaty I'm gonna put these on alright so now I have the leggings on and then I'm gonna pull a t-shirt I wanna get a t-shirt that's kind of like oversized but I also want to get something a little colourful because my leggings are dark. So let's see what I have. Oh, this is perfect. Okay. So I have this t-shirt, which is actually really such a cool t-shirt. I thrifted this. It's um not cotton, but the fabric is so breathable and so loose and like dries off super fast if you get sweaty and there's nothing on the tag. So I'm gonna be putting this on as well with it. We'll see how that works. Okay, okay. I like how this looks so far. Very comfy, very cozy. Still a little bit of coverage. So the last thing will be something to wear over the top. I think I'm gonna go with something matchy. So I'm gonna go for my flannel. This one I'll just put on right now. It's actually, this was one of my go-tos as well in university because it like keeps you super warm. Okay, so now I'm looking at it, I don't like the pattern. Actually, I don't know if you guys can see the pattern, but like there is a stripe pattern on these leggings. I don't like how it looks with the plaid on the shirt, but I like the plaid. So I'm going to change these leggings for the grey ones instead. Okay, three, two, all right, so I've got my leggings changed. I like how this looks much more. Yeah. And for shoes, the most practical thing would be like sporty sneakers. Um, okay, we're pretending that we're not doing an actual sports and event and I'm actually gonna wear my Converse instead. Realistically, if I were dancing, the shoes would come off right away anyway. So that doesn't matter. But for rocking around on campus, you do want the feet to look cute too. So, have my shoes on, I'm ready. I could wear this just like this, you could take this off if you're outside and it's hot and tie this around your waist. That's also a really cute look as well. Yeah, so this is the outfit. Um, Let's see if 
that is our sporty outfit. Thank you guys. Let's go on to the next one. We are back and we're going to do the second outfit, which I have three different prompts that I'm combining for this one. I'll tell you what they are. Someone said garden party. Someone said Sunday brunch and also picnic or outdoor event. So we're going to mush them together. We're going to have a outdoor garden picnic Sunday brunch, right? So we know for sure going into this, we're going to be outside. So we don't want to wear anything that's going to keep us too sweaty. For me, my option is either going to be like a, a pant that's not full length. So maybe like mid calf length pant or a midi skirt. Because I feel like a midi skirt, like you got the breeze flowing and whatnot, but you can still wear like shorts underneath it that are long enough to keep your thighs from sticking together if they start to sweat. So, what am I gonna go for? I kinda really wanna go for the pants. Let's see, okay. These black culottes that I have, but they're black. And also, I feel like I have to say this for this whole video, everything I'm taking straight from my closet will not be ironed. So there might be wrinkles, just pretend that they aren't there. I'm not gonna go iron anything now. Yeah, I have this pants. That's actually quite comfy. But if I'm wearing this, I have to wear it with like some kind of colorful blouse right i feel like none of these tops i have are both cool and pretty especially because the pants are so plain so maybe i'll try for a skirt instead and my immediate instinct is my favorite skirt ever if you'll follow me on instagram you'll know it's my favorite skirt ever this midi skirt um it's like accordion pleat and it has little yellowish like tan beige is the color beige and blue flowers on it and obviously green from the leaves but because the skirt is doing a lot of the like style work i don't have to get as fancy of a top so i can get a top that is pretty chill and i kind of want to go for something light because of course you don't want to be sweating skirts are already dark want some contrast so one of these two white tops yeah, I'll go for the off the shoulder. White off the shoulder blouse, green midi skirt, and I'll be right back. All right, let me close up this so you can see more clearly. So we've got everything on. I remember that this skirt, the elastic is a little bit stretched out and I need to fix it. So I have a belt, it's just navy blue to match the navy blue flowers on the skirt. All right, I think we are good with the skirt and the belt. Now the top, everything is looking cool. So I already took off my earrings so I could try to find actual earrings that go with this outfit. I am thinking these like green and yellowish iridescent seashell earrings. I feel like they go perfectly with this skirt and for shoes realistically i'd probably go for my sandals like my bla my basic black sandals that i wear all the time that you guys have seen me wear all the time so i have got them and we say sa you can't even see the sandals in this shot but and i probably you know maybe even put on a flower crown to complete the look of that whole like garden fairy pretty princess flower child outfit but this is it here we are lots of breeze lots of flowing i am actually in here with my fan off and i'm not feeling warm so once you stay out of direct sunlight for too long you should be great in this outfit yeah the outfit the bottom of the skirt oh, literally every time i wear this skirt i feel so pretty i wish i had more like it because like it's so flowy but also like when you let it go it still gives you like a slim um silhouette love y'all i would literally die for accordion pleats they are the best type of skirts yeah you can see my sandal mm. <laughs> 
So the next one is from Daniela, and she says something that's super lazy but also cute enough to go out. And my immediate thoughts was obviously a dress because a dress is one piece of clothing. It is easy to throw on, and it's inherently perceived as cute by everybody around. But I also thought if you are wearing something else to change into a dress still takes effort and if you're really going for lazy maybe a dress isn't the best thing so one of my go-to's if i'm kind of chilling around the house and have to get ready quickly to go out is an overall dress it's perfect because you can use whatever t-shirt sweater top you're wearing already and throw the dress over it it's still a dress but you don't have to take off the clothes that you're wearing and even if it's something that's not the cutest top, the dress itself covers most of it that you don't really see it except for the sleeves and stuff where it pokes out. Naturally, I'm gonna go for my two, my two overall dresses, but I've killed this orange one quite a lot recently, so I'll give you a little break from that one. And I'll do this um, corduroy tan colored one. And a top, literally, I kid you all not, I would wear this with any of the tops. Every single top I have in my closet, I would wear this with. But we'll go for something kind of lazy-ish. I think I might go for this t-shirt. It's a very soft, oversized t-shirt that is just super comfy. Exactly the kind of thing I'd be wearing around the house. So give me two seconds and I'll be changed. Again, we are ignoring how wrinkled the t-shirt is. Actually, I don't know if you can even see it on camera because of the light color. If you are, just pretend that you aren't. Rolling up the sleeves because I physically cannot wear a t-shirt without rolled sleeves. I actually usually step into this dress rather than put it over my head just because, you know, with curly hair, you don't want to put things over your head too much. Eh? Voila! Your lazy but cute outfit. See? Like if you were just chilling at home in your t-shirt and shorts or t-shirt and sweatpants and then you throw on this dress and it's super cute. I'm gonna change my earrings. I'll probably actually go back to the brown ones I was wearing before. Or we can go for color. So just for fun and for color, I'm gonna wear these spiral pink, like dark pink earrings. And ideally, I'd change my lipstick to something that matches as well. And, in case you get cold, you grab your cardigan that matches the earrings that you're wearing. And we, that is your lazy, cute outfit. Oh, and of course, sandals. Always sandals. Et oui, c'est ça. I keep surprising myself with these outfits so far because I keep worrying that they will come out bad but they are actually really good so far at least in my opinion I would wear all of these and I haven't worn this t-shirt in a long time because I've been avoiding it but it is kind of perfect with this dress love that for me okay so next one is from Fana and she said show me your church style because of covid i definitely don't go to church as often as i used to um so i don't have as much opportunity to wear church outfits i only go in to lead worship we don't have in-person church yet my church is still doing online so i've been a lot more casual with my church style these days but one thing that i've been really vibing with is like more dressy trousers for church so i have this pair of trousers which i love um, which I actually took from my dad. I love taking pants from my dad because men's pants generally have a much lower crotch so that I could pull it up high and make it high-waisted with a belt. So I have these and like when I wear them, the length is so good and I feel so tall and powerful. I think I'd go for like a more masculine-ish look with this. So some kind of like boxy button-up shirts. Maybe one of these either purple or green in fact no not not those this gal right here Oops, not the flannel this gal right here red satin button-up shirts 
So I'm gonna put this on and we'll get back to it. Wah! So I pull her up, buckle her up. Realistically, I could and should fix these pants so like they actually fit my waist and like get rid of some of the extra fabric with some dots and stuff. But the time for that has not yet come. So I have this so far. Obviously these pants aren't ironed and they would look better if they were. But now I'm gonna just get some earrings and some shoes. And I already know I have a pair of red heels that I'm going to wear with this. So here they are. Obviously I love wearing heels to church because it's one of the only opportunities I have to wear heels these days. But here they are. And actually I'm thinking if I wear this to church, I'd probably pull my hair back or out of my face. Of course, y'all, there's only so much I can do right now without properly doing my hair. So, so this will have to do. Earrings now. And of course, ideally, some very red lipstick. So, we have the top half of the look. Bam, see my shoes. Can you see them like this? Okay. I'll change the angle of the camera so you can see better. Okay, so there's my pants, shoes, and of course if these sleeves are too bothersome you could always roll them up. They will inevitably slide down because that is the nature of satin. Yeah. Look. I also want to assure y'all, I know it's kind of late to say this, but all the outfits in this video are outfits that I've never worn myself before. So, hmm. love this one. So for the last one, I'm going to be doing Issa's suggestion, which I thought was so funny and by far my favorite one, which is someone's funeral, but you're glad they died. So, immediately, obviously, funeral look, you have to go for all black. Um, and I don't have a lot of black clothes, to be very honest, but I know this one shirt that I have that I feel like gives that vibe very strongly. This black, sheer, like, ruffle neck, ruffle sleeve shirt. And obviously I'm gonna wear something underneath it. If you're a more risque person than I am, you could go for like a bralette or something for the all the spice, but for me it'll probably just be a vest. I wish I had a pair of like full length black wide leg trousers, but I don't. I think I'm gonna pick up these black culottes that I think do the vibe just as well. So I'll put these on and get back to y'all. Okay, so this is what we have so far. And the thing is, it's the belt is kind of throwing me off. I can't wear these pants without a belt, but I don't have like a black belt that could fit these. I'm gonna throw on my heels, my gorgeous black snakeskin and PVC heels. So this is what I have so far. I feel like something is missing, so I'm either gonna get my like black coat or the black duster that I have. So let's see which one goes better. This er nah. Not this. I have this duster. Maybe this is the one. Okay guys, I think this is it. Two more things. I want to do like proper lipstick and fix my hair for this one. I feel like if I'm, if I'm going for the whole... Do these shades work? I don't, I don't think these work. Do you know the whole vibe of like wearing those big shades and like the head scarf it's like mm, i'm sorry you died but am i really sorry you died am i really sorry am i really sorry i don't know y'all tell me if this head scarf works yeah my heels are perfect for stepping on your grave my all black says, I'm so sorry you died, but the frills, the red lipstick, the red earrings say, oh, but am I? Yeah, 
Yes. Frills, pants, heels. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you feel a little bit more inspired to try new things with your outfits. Let me know which outfit was your favourite in the comments and also if you have more suggestions for events or scenarios I could do next time, leave those as well. Drop a like, subscribe if you haven't yet and share with your friends. Love you all so much. See you next time. Bye!